All right, just going to do a quick um, comparison between the blue and the black Galaxy S3, or the blue and the white Galaxy S3, excuse me. Here's the white one, and I don't know where the blue one is. Uh, anyways, let's see. Oh, there it is. You know what? Did two Galaxy S3s come in one box? No. I have the white one. I have the blue one, and I'll tell you why I got the white one. Um, I don't know if you could see that right in the light right there. See that? That's a that's a uh, hairline crack fracture in the LED in the LCD, which is basically right right under the panel, the Gorilla Glass panel. However, Super AMOLED is infused right on the screen. So what happened basically is I dropped the phone. Oh, and I didn't have a case on it when I dropped it, which, you know, I took the case off for maybe 30 seconds to wipe the phone down, and it literally slipped right out of my hands. It fell on the ground. I picked it up. I said, okay, you know what? There isn't much uh, physical damage in terms of overall damage. The screen wasn't cracked, and then I tried to, un you know, power it on, and it wouldn't power on. And as I looked closer, I saw the crack of death. They say crack kills. Well, crack killed my phone. So, I overreacted, I flipped out, and I went ahead and I temporarily used the iPhone, uh, my iPhone 4S, which I have unlocked, and I was uh, able to use that for about two hours until I literally had anxiety and realized that I could no longer use the 3.5 inch tiny display of the iPhone. Uh, I went ahead that same day, called my phone guy, and purchased the white Galaxy S3. I immediately flashed CM10 on it. Jelly Bean, in case you don't know what CM10 is, I have videos of it posted uh, on my channel, a few detailed videos uh, basically showcasing the abilities of CM10, and I'm actually quite content with the white one. You know, now that I have the white one, at first I thought, okay, white is kind of, you know, maybe it's a little female-ish, but nah, yeah, that's a misconception. Uh, I'm actually quite content with the white one, but for whatever reason, and I know this is just perception, I feel like the white one's bigger in my hand. Uh, you know, I don't know whether or not, of course, obviously, they're both the exact same size. But I just felt, in a weird way, like the white one, just mainly due to the color, felt like it had more girth to it. But it really doesn't, obviously. It's the same exact size. But you can see right here, when I try to turn this on, um, the capacitor lights turn on, but the screen doesn't. And that's a shame. Uh, it's such a waste of a beautiful device. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm usually quite careful with my phones. I usually have it in a case. I don't like screen protectors, it alters the screen, which I don't like because I like fluidity, I like a quick touch, and the screen protector sometimes alters that, but, um, you know, in any case. Galaxy S3 cracked screen. You know, and you can see that there's various variations of cracked screens, specifically outer cracks. I have, you know, one of my friends has a Galaxy S3 which is completely shattered. I mean, completely shattered suppression and it's um, basically ruined. However, my, my luck of all things, I happen to just, you know, which is really rare. I spoke to a guy at iFixit. And by the way, the repair for this is anywhere from $250 to $265. That's with installation. I just, you know, instead of spending that money to repair it because there is scuffs all over the phone. Otherwise, uh, you can see right there, I just went and bought a new one, you know. So basically what the guy told me was that it's really pretty hard because the Gorilla Glass is Gorilla Glass 2 and it's, it's really sturdy. It's really hard to crack the inside uh, infused display under the Gorilla Glass. So he said, I don't know how you did it. I said, well, when the phone fell, it fell on its side. What happened was it hit the volume rocker. The volume rocker hit the concrete about twice. You can see the damage right there. And at that point, it was basically game over. So, yeah, you know, I got the white one now, which I'm happy with. Um, it's obviously running CM10. The first thing I did was flash CM10 on it. You know, it's, it's the newest build. I got Lean Kernel, which is fantastic. It's running great. As usual, it's running great. CM10, blazing fast. Leaving by. Cyanogen mod. Blazing fast. Mm, fail. But Google Now was just updated, so they gave you the sports uh, cards now where you can actually set up your favorite sports team. And here you can see this here. If I go to settings and I go to Google Now, if I go to sports, card appears, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Los Angeles Lakers, my favorite team. Um, if, let me see if I could show you guys a uh, 
example of this. Let's see. Okay. Give me an example here, please. Oh, there we go. So more cards. Okay. Oh, you know the weather. You got the weather, obviously. Weather, Glendale, California. It's 80 degrees and clear in Los Angeles. Weather, Mississippi. It's 88 degrees and clear in Jack. Google iPhone. Google. So there you go. Crack the screen. Got the, the white one. Still have the box for the blue one. Uh, so I'm going to rest this in peace right now. Uh, I've had a lot of good times with this device. And it's choking me up right now to just have to even put it in here. But I'm going to rest it in peace. I'm putting this casket. I'm going to say a little prayer. Uh, thank you, Samsung, for the great times that we've had. I truly appreciate it. Uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't let you go. I went ahead and got a white one. I'm sorry. I'm not neglecting you. But I'm going to have to now retire you and put you away six feet under. Right, let's put it with the rest of my little tech bag here next to my suitcase. Goodbye. Thank you. Oh! It's alive! No. There you guys go. Just wanted to go ahead and show you what I did to my Galaxy S3. Again, I'm a Paul. I apologize for the neglect. I usually take care of my phones, but I um, just wanted to show you the difference between the white one and the blue one. Um, there you go. Thank you guys for watching, and look out for the Note 2 quad core, 2 gigs of RAM, 1.6 gigahertz. Uh, overclocked quad core that thing is going to be a beast so look out for the note 2 I'm going to be hopefully getting it or getting a review unit very soon so I'll go ahead and upload that video as soon as I do uh, thank you guys for watching take care have a good day